everybody, and welcome to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I hope you will find inspiring, interesting, always motivational, but something that you can use. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. Today, you will not believe what I have for you. I need to introduce you to Joshua Mena. He is the founder of the El Paso Freeze-Dried Food Company, LLC. I know, freeze-dried food, who knew? Josh, how are you? Hi, Ricky, doing good. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for joining us because very few people know anything about freeze-dried food or that we have any here. So Josh, I'm gonna let you take it away. Tell me about the El Paso Freeze Dry Food Company, LLC. Awesome, so what we are, we're the first company in the entire El Paso region to make these freeze dry foods. And what it is, it's a dehydrated food, but it keeps its shape, it keeps its flavor, and most importantly, it keeps a significant amount of its nutrition. Wow, that is amazing. So why would we need freeze-dried food? What's that all about? So one of the main things is that it's a really lightweight product. So it's perfect for hikers, campers, anyone doing any outdoor, uh, uh, outdoor activities. And so it's also really good for long-term storage. So in case there's a flood, in case there's a natural disaster, I mean, these foods can really be used to make a difference. Yeah, it's something you never think of, right, is freeze-dried food. So, Josh, how did you get into freeze-drying food? What, what happened there? So, my backstory is, um, so I graduated from Texas State University with a degree in nutrition. And so, I love science. I love food science. And so, um, I also was a, a Peace Corps volunteer in Ethiopia for, um, for 2018. And so, that experience with my background in uh, nutrition, it really made me want to solve or help address the food issue crisis that we're facing globally, not just in America, but globally. And so I kind of meshed like technology with like food science, but with something that's not even like on the market. And so that's when I took the plunge and decided to do this business. Wow. And has it gone well? I can only imagine that it would. It has. People in El Paso haven't had these types of foods before. And so it's really nice to see people's like face light up because they'll try it and they'll just be like, what is this? Like, how would it, how is it keep its flavor, but it's crunchy, but it's, it's just so different than what dehydrated foods are. And so, yeah, it's some really good feedback. Now that is an interesting thing that you just said. Can you tell us what the difference is between freeze dried food and dehydrated food? So freeze drying is a type of dehydration process, but it's a more advanced dehydration process. So the difference between this and like a regular dehydrator or like sun drying something is that freeze drying uses a, a vacuum chamber to reduce the pressure and applies uh, heat, which causes the water to sublimate. This is different from like regular dehydrators which just use um, evaporation. So it's different like uh, physics, but the product is the, the best thing. Look at you using your education. Your mom must be so proud. <laughs> so now, Josh, I'm looking behind you and you have all these really cool bags. Is that dehydrated? Is I'm sorry, is that freeze-dried food? Yes, you're right on both levels. So yes, okay. I have here um, a little snapshot of what we've made before. So right here, we got strawberries, we have regular apples, and we have, actually, this is not even in the market. This is uh, the prickly pear cactus fruit. It's called oh, wow. that in Spanish. It's really good. And then we also have the squash, which you can't find out on the market. And the really cool thing is we just started making our freeze drying vegan ice cream. So we were- Okay, wait, stop, stop. First of all, did you say freeze dried ice cream? Yes, so we got freeze-dried ice cream, but then we're working on freeze-dried uh, freeze vegan ice cream. Vegan so this is like, ice cream. Yes, and we're actually the first company to do this in Texas to make vegan freeze-dried ice cream. So this is like not even, you can't even find this anywhere, like except in El Paso wow. for now. Okay, so what kind of flavors of ice cream do you have? So we have Dutch chocolate, pistachio, uh, strawberry cheesecake, cookies and cream, mint chip and then we have the classic neapolitan ice cream oh my gosh so you are now the official baskin robbins of freeze-dried ice cream food thing yes 
I try, honestly, I draw a lot of inspiration from the Ben and Jerry's company, like Ben and Jerry, their, their business model, what they do, like, I really am inspired by what they do and how they did it. So kind of, Man. I, 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 I'm just, I'm overwhelmed by a number of things, but freeze dried ice cream kind of had me at hello. So, and then vegan too, with this time, you know, the, with everybody being quarantined and in the house, is freeze-dried food really an option for folks like that? Definitely, because the one really cool thing about this product is that it has a really long shelf life. One of the main problems that Americans face is that we throw away too much food. And, you know, this product is going to last and you don't have to refrigerate it. So let's say you buy it, you're probably not going to end up throwing it away because it lasts just longer than regular um, other products. On the average, how long can a freeze-dried food product last? So if you had it in the best container with an oxygen absorber that was rated for a really long time, mm -hmm. it can last up to 10 years. Up to 25 years, I've heard, or I've, re I've read on some research articles. But, I mean, it, it's really, really mind-boggling how long it can last. Yeah. Right. Well, I can't imagine the freeze dried ice cream would last that long, at least not in my house. I am just. <laughs> Definitely. So, Josh, now, what is it that you're looking for in, in your company? What are you needing right now? Because it sounds like you have an amazing product. What do you yet need to be even more successful? The one thing I'm really lacking is um, a really good mentor as far as business. So my background is science and the reason why to start a business. But when it actually comes to the logistics and the figuring out of how to go about business things, that's something that I'm lacking in. Um, one of the cool things is that we're actually partnered up with the University of Texas at El Paso, the Mike Loya Center for Innovation and Commerce. So they help us with some business services and consulting, but still, um, there's still like some gaps that I, I, that I don't have. Okay. So it looks mm -hmm. like you're looking for maybe a business coach some business partners, maybe even some investors? Yes, all of those. Um, I am super interested in getting either partners or investors because, like I said, this is the first company in El Paso to make these products. And we're right. the first company to make the vegan ice cream. So it's, who knows how far this could go because there's, and the really cool thing about El Paso is that we're like the rocket science hub in this in the entire like country because we have, uh, different um, Virgin Galactic, we have Blue Origin, we even might have SpaceX coming and doing things. I mean, we have Los Alamos, we have um, UTEP and New Mexico, like there's some really good science, rocket science going on here. So there's... And now we have El Paso Freeze Dried Food Company, LLC. I love it. So yes. Josh, now how would somebody get in touch with you if they wanted to reach you? So I have my, my phone number, email, um, Instagram, whatever is easier for you. I am open to any forms of communication. Okay, Definitely. great. And for all of you, just make sure to know this. We are going to put all of Josh's contact information in the description box below. So if you are a business coach needing to invest, looking for someone to partner with, Josh Mena may be your man. So please make sure you look down on the bottom, get his contact information, and then reach out. Josh, now you know that how this goes i can't let you leave without playing our game <laughs> all right so the game is called this or that and it's pretty simple i'm going to give you the option between one of two things and off the top of your head as quickly as you can you just tell me which one you like best are you ready let's do it all right mcdonald's or burger king uh, McDonald's. Batman or Captain America? Uh, Batman. My guy. Going to the movies or movies at home? Oh, uh, going to the movies. Yeah, me too. Make the call or send the text? Oh, uh, I got a I got a call. That's easier for me. All right. Snickers or Three Musketeers? Ah, uh, Snickers for sure. All right. Dressing up or dressing down? Dressing down. All <laughs> the time. Cats or dogs? Dogs, definitely dogs. <laughs> What's your problem with cats? Calm down. <laughs> Thanksgiving or New Year's Eve? Ooh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, me too. Let's eat. Fry it or grill it? Fry it. 
Really? Says yeah. the says the food guy? Okay, moving on. Soul food, and I love it. There you go. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Uh, I'm a night owl, definitely. Okay, and finally, what is your favorite Olympic sport? My favorite Olympic sport is probably the sprint. I like I like watching that sprint. It's yeah, track and field is kind of awesome. Josh, I have to tell you, thank you so much for joining us. This has been so interesting, even for me. Again, I know I'm stuck on freeze-dried ice cream, but keep it moving. Hey, everybody, thank you all so much for watching us because we appreciate it. Make sure, though, that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a hit, thumbs up, and don't forget to leave us a comment. We really want to hear your thoughts on today's message. So, Josh, before we go, what's the last thing you want people to know about the El Paso Freeze-Dried Food Company, LLC? So I want everyone to know that by the end of July, we're going to have our facility up and running. We're going to have a storefront. We're going to have our website. And we're going to be making products that you can't find anywhere besides our company. So we got vegan ice cream. We got uh, tuna, which is the prickly pear cactus fruit. Like, we got some crazy stuff coming out. So look out for our Instagram and everything else. And we'll definitely, you'll definitely like our products. Y'all heard it here first. If you don't try anything else, please try the ice cream for me and let me know how it goes. Everybody, we appreciate you watching. And don't forget, we'll see you next time on Extra.